One of the usual traits narcissists possess is playing the victim as a way of manipulating or blackmailing others or gaining other people's attention and sympathy. It can be dangerous to be associated with these people. They will try to control you into obtaining their desires without you realizing it. If you're not convinced yet, we present to you 10 reasons why the worst narcissists are those who play the victim. 10. They won't take accountability for their actions. With narcissistic people, admitting that they did you wrong or have hurt you is never an option. They will always find ways to deny whatever complaints you have about their attitude or personality. For those narcissists who love to play the victim, every time you try to confront them, they would try to give you ridiculous stories about why they behave in such a way. To gain your sympathy and make you feel guilty for even trying to confront or bring it up to them. For instance, if you talk to them about their toxic behavior in the office, they would tell you how they were abused as a child and got it from such a traumatic experience. You see, these types of narcissists see it as a gateway to earn some pass for what they made you feel or how much they have hurt you. Of course, considering that you felt pity for them, you would immediately forget about the issue and forgive them in the blink of an eye. And that is precisely what they want to get from you, to manipulate and make you feel pity for them. But we certainly can't jump to conclusions about whether they told you the truth or not. So make sure to fact check everything. Once you let them slide for their mistakes, they would do it repeatedly to other people. 9. Controls other people by instilling fear. Won't you find it weird when someone would immediately show you their vulnerability and be open to what they have gone through throughout the years? This is not new to playing victim narcissist. They would often do this to gain your trust, and once you share your worst fears and struggles, they would use them against you. Expect the worst from these people. They may come off as your pitiful friend at the start, but would eventually become your worst nightmare in the end. They would do anything to gain back control once you have realized that they are just making up stories and to do that, they use your fears to control you. But don't ever cave into their threats to save yourself from their wickedness. 8. They feed you lies. The usual tactics of these narcissists involve feeding you multiple lies that would lead to confusion and you won't get to understand things anymore. As mentioned, they would most likely tell you fake stories so that you would show them empathy. They would attempt to lose you in their web of lies, convincing you of things that never happened in reality. They would make you question your own interpretation of events, which would bewilder your mind about whether the events have occurred. Have you ever found yourself in such a situation? What did you do once you noticed that they're constantly feeding you lies and gaslighting you into believing their own truths. It can be challenging to understand that they are only trying to manipulate you since they have already gained your trust. It is toilsome to escape the trap they have placed you in. So it would be better to identify early signs of narcissistic behavior they exhibit. 7. Extending their failures or insecurities. Playing victim Narcissists tend to assume that everyone around them is just as toxic as them. They are bold to think that all the traits they have or actions they do are also done by others. In other words, they deem themselves rotten, but they are not the only ones who possess such traits. That is somehow true, however, using this as an excuse to blatantly blame others for what they did is never okay. For example, if they are cheating on their girlfriends or boyfriends, they would also accuse them of cheating. They would often extend their failures or insecurities to others, just like in the example. Blaming you first for these terrible mistakes would enable them to play the victim in other people's viewpoints. Gaining their sympathy while making you look bad 
they would gain more attention from others by playing as the pitiful person between the two of you. They use it to shield themselves from the possible backlash or criticisms they would receive from others and earn privileges that would otherwise not be obtained. 6. Shifting the blame on you This is connected to the reason mentioned earlier. To continue gaining victims' benefits, they tend to blame all things on you, even the pettiest things and those you could not control. If they have a bad day, they will blame you for not being helpful enough or for not doing something to improve their day. They would create ludicrous explanations for why you were at fault due to their refusal to take control of their actions. They would tell you that you should have prepared them an exquisite dinner to make them feel better. They won't try to change their ways, and you should never hope for that day to happen. 5. Make you apologize first. This is a non-issue to healthy relationships with anyone as long as you acknowledge that you did something wrong. However, narcissists would always play the victim to make you apologize first for things that are actually their fault. They don't want anything to do with their responsibility to apologize for what they have done. They often twist situations and claim that your words hurt them when you try to communicate or express how you felt concerning their mistakes. 4. They make you feel that they need you. Sometimes, even if you have noticed that they are only manipulating you, you can't find the will to leave them. They are so good at telling sob stories and making you feel that without you, they won't be able to function. They use their bad experiences to justify their actions so that you would no longer perceive them as the bad guy, but rather someone who needs your help to improve. However, you must remember that none of this is your responsibility. They should have healed and loved themselves before seeking other people's care and support. 3. Framing reasons to blind you They often tend to shift the blame towards you by gearing the angle of their stories to make it seem like your reactions are too much. They would tell you that it was a joke, that you're taking it too seriously, or that you're too sensitive to get upset over their actions. However, you need to be mindful considering that once you get used to seeing things from their perspective over yours, you become entirely blind to the red flags and you would justify their unfit acts. 2. Make you look like the bad person Narcissists would project themselves as someone good, noble, caring, and virtuous, while turning you as evil, cruel, selfish, and immoral. They do this by spreading false rumors or simply doing what they're best at, playing the victim. They would turn the table to make it look like you are the one hurting them when they are the ones who actually do it. They are great actors who could easily trick everyone into believing their absurd stories. 1. Engaging in a campaign of untruths Narcissists could sometimes go overboard to become the victim and center of attention in every situation. They occasionally fake documentation, such as voice recordings and spliced videos, to manipulate others so they won't discover the truth. This will be their last resort when someone attempts to uncover their falsehoods. They would also do this to severely hurt or punish those who try to prove that they are wrong which they could not accept as someone who deemed themselves as perfect. They believe that whatever happens to the other party is justified and that they deserve it for being so mean to them. Did you gain insights about how worse off these people might get and how will it affect your mental health? What's your next step now that you realize they are only manipulating you? Let us know the subsequent measures you will take in the comments and don't forget to like and share this video.